We're in Microsoft Word 2019, and we're going to take a look at the new icon feature. So if we go to the Insert tab, as you see at the top, and we go off to the right, we can see icons as an option. Let's go ahead and click on Icons. And we can see a lot of different icons we can insert. They're all fairly basic looking. Black and white. Lots of different options. And when you see the one that you want, you can just go ahead and click on it and click Insert. And from here, we can make it larger or smaller. We can spin it around if we want. We can make it wider. And we can make it shorter if we want as well. Let's go back to Insert, choose Icons again. And we can see here's all the different uh, categories that are there to pick from. And I'll just scro scroll through them for you just so you can see. Some of them you have to scroll all the way down because there's a lot of them. And let's go ahead and click on another one, click Insert. And you can see that it inserted over the last one because I had it highlighted at that time. So I basically just replaced it. So if I click away and choose Insert and then choose Icons, then it'll just add to it. So it'll be a separate icon. Some other interesting things, you can't just drag the thing to a new location, even though it looks like it'll let you do it. It doesn't actually work that way. You can move it around using the cursor, however. So let's go ahead and do that and using the space bar. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple other interesting things. Make it bigger. There we go. And if we again, we highlight it. And under Graphics Tools, you get a new format that pops up here. And we'll go ahead and click on that. And we can go to Graphics Fill. So we can change it to a different color if we want. Just by clicking that, we can go to Graphics Outline, and you can see that it's adding a different outline as well. We can go to Graphics Effects, and we can see it does a lot of the types of effects you'll see with word art and other things like that. So we can make it glow. There we go. So a lot of different types of effects that you can see, bevel, and sometimes it gets a little bit too much. If you want to change the height besides just dragging it larger or smaller, you can go and get a specific height simply by going to the right hand side and typing in what you want. And it'll get the exact size that you're looking for. You can also crop the icon as well. So go ahead and click crop and we'll shrink in and say, hey, maybe we just want to show mostly two people instead. Hit enter, and now we have the two people. If we don't like that, we can go ahead and hit undo. And now we're back to where we were. If we want, we can change the graphic simply by going over to where it says change graphic. And we can say from a file. If you choose from online sources, it will browse to a lot of different uh, options, which are actually not even icons at that point. They're pictures and things. We could also just go from the icons themselves and just choose a different one right there. Now, it does keep some of the characteristics. You can see the glow still, the outline, but it did not keep the graphics fill. So if you want to go back to graphics fill, we can go back and make it the color that we had before. So that's a review of the insert icon options in Microsoft Word 2019. I'll just show you that is absolutely Word on using the Office Professional Plus. Now, if you don't see this option, it's possible that you have a lesser version of uh, Office. You may not see it in the, the uh, student version or the home and a small business one, uh, but it definitely shows up in the Professional Plus version.